Want to take your notes to the next level using an iPad and the Apple Pencil? Well then the app you need is GoodNotes. Let's check it out. GoodNotes is a handwriting tool that is made for the iPad. Before the invention of the Apple Pencil, I would never think about doing notes on an iPad. Now granted, I'm the guy who invented Sign My Pad, which was a PDF signature application, and even then we sold a stylus, or you would just draw your name with your finger. But to do full-on note-taking without one of these would be super troublesome. So now Apple has their second generation Apple Pencil out. The question is, what do you do with it? And the answer here is an app called GoodNotes. Now don't get me wrong, I like the scratch of a pen or pencil against paper, but I have stacks of notebooks with information from years ago, and I'd much rather have it be digital. With GoodNotes you can do that. Not only can you write and annotate on notes and PDFs, but your information is organized, and there's a Mac app that allows you to view the uh, notes, and also all of your notes are searchable, and that's the main thing. Your handwriting becomes searchable text within the app. Now the downside to GoodNotes is if your handwriting is garbage, like mine, it's not gonna get any better, but they do have some nice features to help straighten your lines and make things look good, including your paper templates. You could start with a blank white screen, like a blank PDF, or you can even start with textured paper to give it a little bit more of a real feel. I myself prefer either a black or even our virtual blue template, which will be linked below for you to download that you can draw on. So enough looking at me, let's look at the app. So here we are in my untitled notebook, which is what GoodNotes calls your multiple pages, just like a regular notebook. And I'm using the virtual blue template, which you can download. Now, you can see the top row, I have all my tools. I currently have my pen selected in a medium, a medium thickness, which actually, if you hold on it, you can choose, I like a one millimeter. And here, you can write your notes. Now again, my handwriting isn't really that great for note taking, but you know, I can read it. Here you can choose your color. You have a bunch of presets, but I've actually taken my last option and made it a color wheel so I can choose any color I want. Let's do a throw a little hot red red in there and you can draw what you want. Change my thickness, here's a pen. This one actually is at two millimeters and you can see the difference as I draw. Now having different templates really does make writing easier because you could have you know, lines or a checkerboard pattern in the background or a grid. Um, I like writing freeform on this blue or black because I think it stands out more. And I'm also a big believer in writing with white ink. I think it just stands out, it looks prettier when you're trying to do certain things. Another nice feature is that the system, uh, if you set your shapes up, will auto-correct your shape. So here I'm gonna draw a rectangle, and if I keep my pen held down, you can see that it auto-corrected and made a perfect rectangle. Same for my circles, because if anybody's ever wanted to make a perfect circle, that's how you do it. Now what GoodNotes isn't is a drawing app. You could, of course, you know, try to sketch in some coloring here and do what you want to do, but filling in boxes and such, that's something else. GoodNotes is available right now on the iPad App Store for $7.99. No, it is not available for the iPhone. It's a great way to keep track of your notes, keep yourself organized, and actually get all of your stuff digitized and on the go. Get an iPad, get an Apple Pencil, get good notes, rock your world. I'm Justin from Virtual Computers. This has just been another one of our great 365 days of tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let us know what you wanna see next in the comments below.